So, um, another city. <laughs> I'm in uh, Winterthur today, um, which is another town not so far away from Zurich. It's actually in the same canton as Zurich. And, um, and uh, you remember my last video was on, on e-mobility? Well, uh, I got a lot of comments here people saying, well, what's the point? Yeah, yeah, it's great. We, we like the idea of scooters, but we can't invest in it because it's a private market and it's not accessible to us. So I thought, I'm going to show you how you can invest in these 21st century e-mobility themes today. This is Sandra. Hi there. So we're going to go and check out a really cool company. E truck. This is the e truck. It's an e truck. Wow. It's the inside. Wow. This is really no, this cool. is not for Great Britain. They just explained to me that it's sometimes it's built like this, but it's not ah, really? exported. Yeah, really. Oh, because it's a okay. It's a, because it's a garbage truck, right? It's a garbage truck. Exactly. Yeah, so they need to be on the curb side. <laughs> Thanks for letting us sit yeah. inside. It's amazing. It's, it's all used for 850,000 Swiss. 850? Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's, less than it's a, brand new. It's less than a Bugatti. <laughs> 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 right, so this. This is an e-truck. This one's designed for, for garbage disposal, is that right? right? Yeah, garbage disposal. Okay. Everybody talks about Teslas and e-cars and all these things, but no one ever talks about the, the really important things, like the, the infrastructure that allows us to live our lives, like haulage trucks and, and garbage trucks. We selected garbage truck exactly about the reason you, you told us, because you know the garbage truck it runs in the, in, the, in the heart of the city, where, where, the, where the people live and the emissions are taking place directly at, at collecting the garbage. It's impressive that you've managed to be able to fit a battery pack big enough to power a vehicle this size. So we buy the modules, but then we pack them differently. Yeah, we pack them ah, okay. how, it, how, it, how it fits into the car. We call it battery Tetris. Yeah, you have to, 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 yes, to fit, it, to fit yes. it into the space which is left of, of the car. But essential for the lifetime of the battery is how, how, you, how do you handle the battery. This is a so-called battery management system, which uh, runs the battery in the, in the best operation mode. Because the electrochemistry in battery is, is like a human body. It fits, it fits best or feels well with 25 degrees Celsius. This is uh, the best operating temperature for batteries, and you can harm them and then short Lifetime, if you were getting too hot or, or too cold, too as well. cold, yes. too cold as well. Kind of trucks over there, and sort of garbage truck over here. Mm -hmm. um, why are these vehicles special? Uh, because we started manufacturing here like two or three months ago. And uh, it's true that we are specializing in the very heavy trucks. The very heavy trucks weigh uh, more than 26 tons and above, yeah. because this is a niche market where uh, our um, trucks perfectly match the needs of our customers. So this car here, for example, this is the garbage collection truck. On the, on the other hand, we have here a hook truck. This is actually a glass container collection car. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. This, uh, wow. this is getting a hook, you know, to okay. take out the very heavy containers from uh, underground, actually. Do, do, and they're completely powered by electricity? 100% electric, yeah, Amazing. absolutely. I mean, how many companies are doing this around the world? I mean, There's some, not too many. Okay. Uh, we consider ourselves to be the pioneers in this area, um, ready to deliver the market. This is uh, basically our strong, our strong uh, pitch today and our strong point, because these cars are running for two years already. We are now just improving the new generation, uh, technical facelift if you want, uh, which means that we are one and a half, two years ahead of everyone else. Bye bye guys! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Silence! Well, almost, but you know, a lot quieter than a regular garbage truck anyway. So this one is the fastest garbage truck in the world. Wow. The women's protest. That's 
a diesel garbage truck. See that? It's not electric. Back in the office. Now, the thing about this electric um, haulage and garbage truck company is that it's real. It's a real business. It's, it's really cool. This company is selling these vehicles all over Europe. It's a booming market. There's huge demand. And as a firm, it has huge growth potential. But it's a private company. It's not something that you can buy um, on the stock market or get, in, you know, get exposure to. So how can you invest in a business like this? Well, the sponsors of this video, Gentwo, explained how this can be done using a conventional financial product. They explained that if you use something like this, what it does is that it allows you to get access to a private company, just like the one we saw, which turns it into an asset. This is something that makes it manageable and investable for qualified investors to access. Pension funds, portfolio managers, and family officers can have access to these types of private companies, which in turn offer access to ordinary investors through the portfolios they manage. I'm excited about this because it offers access to, to a new source of return for investors or a risk premium. And because these are private companies and they're not listed, you're not getting exposure to market volatility like you would normally do on the stock market. So you're investing in the pure fundamentals. And at the end of the day, you're getting direct access to one of the biggest structural trends of the 21st century, e-mobility.